Now, staying with gender-based violence, a 22-year-old woman has been killed, allegedly by her boyfriend at an informal settlement in Malvern near Durban. And now for more on the story, we are joined by our reporter, Karinda Jagmohan, who's coming to us live uh, from Durban. Karinda, won't you give us an idea and details as to what exactly transpired? How did this incident happen? Has the suspect been found at all? Uh, good day to you. Uh, yes, this incident happened uh, last night when the couple were attending a party in uh, the Burlington informal settlement. That's just a few kilometers away from where I am now. I'm at the Malvern Police Station. I'm joined by the KZN Police Spokesperson, Brigadier Jay Nyker. Brigadier, thank you for joining us in Newsroom Africa. Can you just give us a few details of uh, how the incident transpired? Now, we're told that the 22-year-old victim was invited by the suspect to her party at the Burlington Informal Settlement. Um, in the early hours of the morning, it's believed that the two became involved in an argument, and the suspect then pulled out a knife and stabbed her once in the neck. He then fled the scene after the incident. The victim was taken to hospital where she was pronounced as dead on arrival. The uh, immediately detectives began with the investigation and following uh, a non-stop investigation they managed to track the suspect uh, not far away in, in the same um, informal settlement. He was arrested, the knife that was used as the murder weapon was seized from the suspect as well as the victim's cell phone. The suspect is currently with detectives being questioned, he will be charged and is expected to appear in the Pinetown Magistrate Court tomorrow. Uh, Brigadier, this incident has happened as we're observing 16 days of activism. Um, just tell us about, you know, the police's message to South Africans, especially during this time, about these crimes. Yes, absolutely. It's very tragic that it had to happen, you know, during this period. But we are pleased that the suspect has been arrested and we're hoping that uh, once convicted, a fitting sentence will be passed. Thank you very much. Brigadier Jay Naika, the KZN police spokesperson. And as, as you've uh, heard, that the suspect will be appearing at the Pinetown Court. We have spoken to the family of the woman. Her name is Oluwetu Mbanjwa. She's 22 years old and she leaves behind a two-year-old baby. Karinda, thank you so much uh, for that. But a devastating report once again. You know, we really need to get beyond the point of statements. We need to get beyond the point of being enraged as South Africans. There needs to be some stringent and decisive action that's taken to bring this to an end because truly enough is enough. And you can tell with the suspect here, Aubrey um, uh, Manaka, a repeat offender in the same instance, um, Luanda Porta, of uh, the one who killed Uyine Nukhojana, also uh, previously, you know, con convicted. So really, there need to be stringent, more stringent, uh, you know, repercussions for those who are inflictors of gender-based violence and, and killings against women and children.